become our bosses. So let's get into it. There's some um, brocking news. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> LB would hate this segment. I see what you did. <laughs> Brock Lesnar remains with the WWE. This is some this the break, seriously it's breaking news. It happened like while we were recording uh, like two shows ago here uh, mm-hmm. on this Tuesday night. Uh, who's got the details of what what happened here? It's broken by ESPN. It's it was bro- mainstream, so. Well, uh, Brock came on ESPN and he basically said that he is retiring with UFC and he has signed a multi-year deal with WWE. Mm-hmm. And so, then he probably F5 coach for... And then Roman Reigns, like, they cut to Roman Reigns and he was just crying. <laughs> <laughs> just sobbing in Poor the corner. Poor Roman. So this really goes along with... They've been having a lot of fun with this last few weeks, especially Paul Heyman. Uh, saying mm-hmm. that Brock Lesnar is going to take the belt and become a unified UFC at WWE champion. They've had <laughs> tons of fun with this because I think it might have been a chance that that's actually what was going to happen. And this yeah. is one thing I've noticed. This is one thing I love. I, I think I commented on this on the on the May, on the Mayhem Show Twitter account last night. I like when things like this happen. Things like the hijack raw that we talked about in the past, and uh-huh. WWE just leans into it. Like they just yeah. lean into the rumor, lean into that, and they make it the they make it their own. They own it. They make it part mm-hmm. of the storyline. And again, you come back around to you know again them kind of tricking. Like, wait, was that supposed to happen? You know, the, the first time they really did that with great success was with Edge. Yes, certainly. Like the Edge Matt Hardy Lita stuff. Like yeah. if that yeah. didn't happen in real life, we would not have gotten the Edge character that we eventually got. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At least not that quickly. No, no, it really jump started that whole thing. Um, but uh, so, we, so we're going to get Brock for a bit longer. Do you? I mean, we we'll get more into predictions. I, I guess this can start off a little bit of the predictions, but I mean, this is the one I think we need to talk most about. Do we get? Do you think he keeps the title? Do you think this yeah. is at least they have the option of doing that? We talked a lot last night, I, uh, Matt, 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 and Mad Mike mm-hmm. uh, on the WWE wrap up about. About you know the crowd reaction and that being a test bed last night, maybe of him holding the title. Is it time for that? Um, what do you think about that option popping up? Rizzy had something to say. I I, I, I it, it, he has to keep the title now. Okay, he has to. What do you? I I think basically Brock Lesnar goes into SummerSlam as champion. Mm-hmm. It goes through that one year. And just dominates everybody, and we'll oh. see from there until they until they build up a new number one contender, not like what they did with Roman Reigns, but when they build him up from the bottom up. I here's the thing. Okay, I, I can see it hap- I can see that happening. Mm-hmm. Obviously, with this new news, mm-hmm. um, there's definitely a, a bit more of a chance of that because of the new news. Um, I do think it's at this point now where Roman Reigns is clearly the guy that WWE wants to elevate to a certain degree. They've made the choices and they've pushed him, you know, and, and done things with him. Then those decisions have been made of how they wanted to portray him. They just have to do it. And, and in the end, if the crowd doesn't like it, it's what it has to be. Because if Roman loses, what does Roman do? Mm-hmm. What would That's the big thing. I, I, I'm of the opinion... And this has been my opinion for months now. I don't think it matters who wins that title match. I think Seth Rollins is leaving WrestleMania with that belt. Okay. I, I think I think this may change that. I still believe Seth Rollins is going to be leaving WrestleMania with that belt, regardless of who wins via Brock or Roman. I mean, for all I know, they could do a double countout. Mm-hmm. They could oh, do a double geez. count out where both guys are so gassed and exhausted that the referee counts them both down or they do a double pin or something to keep Roman looking, you know, strong, strong. I was trying to avoid using that, but to keep Roman <laughs> credible, lean into, in it. The world lean into it, Mad Mike, lean into it. Yeah. But um, if they if they don't and they just have Brock win, which would be amazing. Mm-hmm. Do you guys think they keep him one day past CM Punk's streak? 
I think because I think they do. Because I think they do. It's a lot easier for them to do that. Isn't One it? day after, and then it's broken by John Cena. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> uh, uh, Punk's streak was over a year. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, well over a year. And and that would extend past SummerSlam. Right. Yep. You also have to keep in mind that Seth Rollins' contract doesn't go until Money in the Bank. No, I know. No, I uh, think if. I think if I, Seth doesn't cash in, he's going to be the first one to let the contract expire. What? Why would he do that? that doesn't because make we've sense. never done it before. There. Because that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but we've never done it before. It, that's what it, we're it, always looking for with Money in the Bank. We're always looking for something different with it. Yeah. But that's... <laughs> if anything, okay, okay, okay. I, Riz, Riz. Well, if well. anything, I see it as this. If he cashes it in, and if it's on Brock Lesnar... He could be the first one to lose it on a quick cash in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can see that happening either at Mania or somewhere down the line. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they want to waste that that opportunity now, or if they want to go on from you know <clears throat> go past to Money in the Bank or whenever Brock Lesnar decides to show up again. It just seems like they're trying to just give Brock the title and make him as strong as possible um, until John Cena wins. Um, so, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt, Matt uh, has something here. Sorry, I was distracted I, by I the I just want to say, and, and our friend Antonio Garza beat me to the punch in the chat room. Yeah. <clears throat> the most obvious way to get out of the Seth cash in is Dean Ambrose. Mm-hmm. Dean Ambrose mm-hmm. has sworn vengeance upon Seth Rollins from now until eternity. It's simple. Seth tries to cash in, the bell rings, Dean screws him, Brock pins him, done. So, but, to me, it's an easy hurdle to get over. Mm-hmm. Wise. I mean, you could even have Roman screw him over, too. You could have Roman screw, screw him over, and then you get a Seth Rollins-Roman Reigns feud, which is kind of what they wanted to do anyway, but it doesn't have the title involved. So, you can have that be the main event of the non brock paper feuds. It, it, it will... That it will, but that move would also immediately turn Seth Rollins' face. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's already with J and J Security, who get cheered when they come out, regardless. Yeah. Uh, Bobby, what do you think of uh, of the situation? I kind of wish they wouldn't announce this, though. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they could have done so much with this with with Brock, like uh, with the Montreal screw screw job thing that Heyman said about. Or with like him just leaving with the title and just going around to different places with it, not knowing when he's if he's gonna bring it back, you know. I, I think they could have done something like that. But um, I, I think the only reason they, Sorry, Rose, you can go. They have to promote. And yeah. they have to promote the product. And you gotta remember the last time uh, Brock's contract was coming up and he was in a big match and it was at WrestleMania. Oh, and yeah, with Goldberg. The crowd kinda of found out about it. That didn't go so well, so yeah, I, yeah. I think I think it's better that they did it this way. That's so, true. So that the crowd knows, hey, guess what? Brock's not going anywhere. This match can go either way. Mm-hmm. Certainly, certainly. Um, well, this will be interesting to follow what's going on with uh, Brock Lesnar as we go here, um, and we'll get into. I'm sure we'll probably touch on this a little more in conversation as we go. Uh, as so we can I just Russell throw in one more quick no. thing? I just want to make sure that – because we're talking about all no, the different permutations you. of how yeah. this is going to go. Yeah. And I just want to make sure we don't lose sight of the fact that a WWE contract as superstar announced his career intentions on ESPN Sports. Yeah. Yeah. That is crazy. They have talked crazy. about WWE more than they've talked about the NHL all season. <laughs> That's uh, Wow. That's amazing. That is you crazy. Think, and that speaks think? to – it speaks to how – it speaks to Brock Lesnar's – uh, popularity. It also it's across all sports. It's it's. It also yeah. speaks truth that they have Todd Grisham and Jonathan Coachman and Michelle Beadle who likes WWE. Well, well, here's my thing. Do you think that's a more? Lot. Do you think that's more of a WWE thing, or do you think that's more of a UFC thing? Is the reason that's a it's a WrestleMania thing. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the real reason. If this was happening around SummerSlam. That announcement just would have been made on the app. 
Mm -hmm. But because it's WrestleMania, Vince was like, hey. This is true. Uh, this is true. Uh, well, we're in Stanford. You're in Stanford. Come on. Let, let's do this. Well, yeah. first of all, it was in Los Angeles. And Brock stated on yeah. SportsCenter that he was there himself. He didn't want it to come through another filter. He wanted the decision to come for himself. Now, for me, the reason I think ESPN picked it up is I think ESPN booted as a, a UFC story. But I don't think that should take away from the fact that it was still – a little bananas that it even happened in the first place. Right. Oh, no, no, I, I, think it, you, Beetle. I, I think it's amaz immensely big. I just think that the fact that you, the fact that UFC and it's and UFC's role mm -hmm. in W inadvertent role in WWE now is what kind of played the factor in that. It, it because, certainly helps, plus, doesn't it? Plus another thing to keep in mind, they're having that uh, 30 for 30 doc on or ESPN 60 uh, yeah. on the NXT stuff. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So so there's already a little bit of uh, back and forth going on there. Well, I mean, and John Gruden, who's on ESPN, did WrestleMania predictions on their site. Mm -hmm. Which so is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, but still, it's, it's there. It's in the conversation, and that's what matters, right? And, and WrestleMania will be everywhere. And, um, and I don't know, maybe this will be with you keep somebody like Brock Lesnar in there. It's like also that. March. There's not really go much going on in sports. That's true. I, there's no like, madness uh, or anything. Like, well, no, hockey Bullshit. and basketball. Hockey and basketball March are not in the playoffs. March March madness. March madness is not <laughs> happening till the end of the week. Mm -hmm. No, March Actually, Madness is the best going March. on now. On. No, but what I'm saying is this is traditionally the downtime for sports. Like, right, right. For professional sports because baseball is in preseason. Uh, no, nothing else is in postseason, and there's no football. Like, there's not even a draft to talk about yet because they pushed it. So. You know, they look for content. All right. Well, we'll get more and get our, uh, our WrestleMania picks coming up here. But in the meantime, uh, please check out. Well, that's not right. Uh, please check out a, a, a part of a kind of associate here with Sorgatron Media, IndieWrestling.com or uh, Pittsburgh Wrestling. Uh, IndieWrestling.us or PittsburghWrestling.com. Uh, if you want to support not only us here at the uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show, and uh, you don't want to uh, become our boss at Patreon, that's quite all right. If you want to check out some really cool wrestling.